see a lot of Yoshi players on bigger tournaments. Okay. Not sure if Twitter agrees with you. Um, but yeah, the, he might have some hidden potential that we might not have seen yet. Uh, no, the match has started. Boyamot versus Sasha. Not quite sure where Yoshi is in this game. Usually he's waving in and out. Uh, as I can see. Oh, got a jab lock there. Trying to go for another one. Sadly, misplaced a jab. Let's try using the egg. Not sure if the egg bounces and has an extra hitbox. Oh, very good. He didn't even wait one second. He immediately went for the forward air. Yoshi having great area mobility makes him very good yes. to uh, just run to up off stage with. and go for an aggressive exactly. edge guard. Especially at the first stock, if Sasha does not expect, I think he did not expect for Poemon yeah. just to run off the unfair. Volko training is also relatively slow, so they have trouble with that. Uh, but Sasha uses using his neutral air, which can lead to many other things. But I think holding up the ID down there, um, the ID down again was able to get on the ground. Um, due to his, he can't really get any follow up due to his uh, pulling up the eye, I believe, from the neutral air, which means uh, Ivysaur's reward is being somewhat limited at the moment. Not able to get the follow up from Razor Leaf either, but Sasha is consistently able to win the neutral game either with neutral air or with Razor Leaf. Up close, he does neutral air from far, he does his side B. Just bring it back really good right now. Can Poyamov extend his lead there? Switching to Charizard. Missing the up free punish for Poyamov right there. Very good out of shield option uh, in general of Charizard, but was not able to hit it there. Uh, went for the up I believe, but Poyamov able to land with an aerial. Four tail very strong in this game, but was not able to kill nope. yet. Even got buffed in the last in yes. the, uh, two patches. Ago. Yes, that move is very dangerous. Ooh, very good out of shield option. That's what I mean. It's a fast kill game out of shield option and also kills pretty well. Early too. Can kill, can catch people off guard. Yeah. Even Yoshi, if Boyamov tries to go really, really high and has no jump, for example, Sasha could try and catch him off guard. But that was a very unexpected ledge, uh, ledge coverage because he went off stage, but then got back with a Becker. Covered the option really well, and I was surprised it killed against Charizard. May not be, may not have been the best DI, but that Becker definitely really powerful. Now at the moment. Um, Sasha has switched back to Ivysaur. Now Yoshi did get in, uh, and when he does, when he gets in, he does so much damage. Already 72%. It's not looking nice. Spot touch there. He extends this pressure. Uh, Sasha able to get back with Ivysaur, which is not always easy, especially against a character with such good area mobility like Yoshi. Uh, switches back to Charizard. At least he will not die. Uh, nice. Well, I'm doing a really good job right there. Just that catching stuff with his eggs. His egg usage is pretty good. At he waves in and out, and what I think is so good about Poyamov is how much he gets from one hit. Uh, Sasha already at 142, and it's not looking all too good if Poyamov is able to continue his pressure for Sasha. Who went for the down B hard read, not able to get it, but had enough time to steal to the extra option afterwards. They're neutral air, wow. The stock? Okay, yeah, he, it's a really fast neutral air, so he just didn't expect it. Like Not in the second stop when it didn't expect the back edge edge connected. So yeah, probably. Yeah, probably, probably. Well, actually, about the back here, I'm not even sure. But but that move seemed really strong. Yeah. But the neutral air was definitely uh, not optimal DI. Uh, DI probably out. But yeah, against a frame 3 backer out of frame 3 neutral air out of shield, that's sometimes what happens. I'm really surprised to see Poemon doing so well. But yeah, maybe he's good against Pokemon training. Yeah. He did abuse. Uh, Pokemon trainers somewhat lacking ledge game pretty well uh, as in they're pretty bad on the ledge since they're slow and also their land is going to because of that be somewhat predictable so Polymon if he's able to continue his pressure I can see this go well for him um, Sasha at the moment keeping the long range game but not able to Polymon getting in with a forward air trying to go for a second one immediately trying to get again the stock like the last game yeah two up air 60% Nice option there with the egg at the ledge to catch some. Exactly. A lot of options there. Exactly. He does the uh, egg and then uh, Sasha tries either to roll or just to get out of it, but pulling my forward there is in the way. Call of uh, Sasha now trying to do the same thing with Razor Leaf. Didn't really probably work out, but he gets him on the ledge again. Double jump worm of coming out. Alright, we have to switch to Charizard. 
Fire Breath, very good attack on Legend, super oppressive. And up Oh, the, and there we have it again, the up the outer shield. The armor that coming in clutch, tanking the Nair, so he could... Exactly, I, I gotta admit, his outer shield options at the moment of such are just really good. Yeah. Both with Charizard and with Ivysaur. But as we have seen, Polymoth is able to get a lot of damage and pressure when he gets that one hit in. Gets stocks in the blink of an eye. Such a this time baiting the forward air. He sees Polymoth is trying usually forward air to get in. That does the dash back, grabs him. Again, the forward air able to punish it. Down B, not taking the start yet. I think he tried to go for the, he tried to do the egg on the ledge, but kind of messed up there. Ooh, Ooh, back air up being nice confirmed by Yeah, Sasha very powerful confirm. Charging an F smash. Eggs again to right pressure him. Ooh, Ooh. Tried to go for the hot three before, especially not really the best at his reward there. Nice board there by Sasha. Sasha is staying patient. He has the lead. Fire breath is so <laughs> oppressive. What do you do against it? I don't know. Half tilt. Yeah, Polymoth was not able to grab the ledge again because he uh, had, didn't have invisibility, so the poor kill it, but was able to take back the stock immediately, although somewhat late since he's now stuck behind. Polymoth this time makes him out his approaches, does a few down airs. Um, Sasha not really falling for it though. I'm trying to go for a down air tech chase there, trying to go for a jab block, didn't get it. The thing Ooh. is. Sasha is really good at the anti-air, sometimes messes it up though and then gets whiff punished by Polymoth. But in general, doing a really good uh Oh, I yeah, would say doing a really good job at keeping him out, but Let's not go. there. And that moment again, Polymoth really capitalizing on, on his opponent's mistake. mistakes. Really, really good job by him. One mistake dead at 40. And he's back in this. He's back in. Such a still having the lead though. This time, Holy One was able to get the forward air again. Again. Oh, again. No. Try to do it again. This time, Such having an awareness and avoiding it. Then the shield, two hits on the back air there. Can he hit by the second one? Ooh, that was oh, a dangerous roll. There, there. Oh, getting in. It's even ish right now. Okay, well, Sasha with a small lead. Well, Sasha does a good job at calling out his forward airs. Really well. Oh, it Pro actually killing. killed. Okay, I did not even expect that to kill because we didn't have the uh, zoom in effect. And Charizard's ultra doesn't always kill as early, especially not on every character. But Yoshi's a story, rather small stage. Yes. So he was able to get the kill there. Very good play by Sasha. It looked a little bit dangerous after the second stop when he got gimped all of the sudden and died at like 40. Yeah, but he could keep, he, he kept his, yeah. his mental game up. He didn't crumble on the pressure because he got killed at 40. Kept no. it up, stayed patient, and that's how he won. No, I actually really, I just really liked in general how he was able to keep him out um, because Polymoth went for a lot of aerial approaches. I mean, Yoshi's forward air was really far. Yeah. Sometimes tried to mix it up with down air. But because he moves himself forward, it's a little bit of a commit. So uh, Ivysaur, base or Charizard, basically just dash back and punish them immediately. Uh, one thing that I find interesting is that Sasha never goes for Squirtle. Uh, perhaps because he believes that Squirtle hitboxes just lose against Yoshi. I feel like Squirtle could have a bit of a better matchup as everyone thinks. Squirtle does really well against Yoshi. Sasha apparently doesn't think so because he starts with yeah. Ivysaur again. Uh, at the ledge at the moment, Ivys are kind of having a rough time at the ledge because he doesn't have the fastest airspeed. Polymoth uh, already getting 40%. Good begin for him, which means he doesn't really have to approach as much because he's in the lead. But it's Ivys are one hit already. Can even it up really easily. Only getting two hits of back air there. Did not send Sasha off stage. Sasha usually staying at razor leaf, leaf, razor leaf range um, and then trying to anti air with either neutral air or forward air. Which uh, is working really well right now. Which is working really well. Uh, but the thing is, until Pol Pol uh, Polymoth gets one hit in, because even though Sasha wins neutral really often, once Polymoth gets one hit in, one hit in he does a lot of damage. All, that all the chip time. damage is gone. Just exactly. Sasha isn't really able to get a lot of his hits, whereas Polymoth. One hit already nets him a lot. Set 
last match looked scary there. Sasha committing a lot right there. Yeah, but Poyamon's having good awareness. Wasn't not in that range, was able to avoid it. Now he's off stage though. Was able to hit him back with the egg, which is really good because he just got rid of the bad situation. Now it's Poyamon with that trapping him. He went for the forward thresh. Wasn't able to. Wow. He, again, the up throw doing it. He was able to avoid it. His ledge pressure with a roll behind killed him then with a up throw punish. Ooh, somewhat risky there, but Poyama didn't see it coming. So fortunately for Sasha, he lives to see another day. That Becker ridiculously powerful, almost killed him at 145. 150, yeah, 145. Yeah, wish he's back here. Wish he's hit some general down beam. But down there, down beam, more range than I thought, I have to admit. Looking, still looking pretty close. Both players, I would say, are on the same level when it comes to gameplay. Both having some stats in their game with a really good Sasha being really good at neutral. Poyamov just being really good at abusing the mistakes of his enemy. Yeah, I think that's the interesting thing. You have uh, Sasha being really good at the keep away, getting hit one hit by hit. Uh, Poyamov doesn't win neutral interactions as much, but once you get that hit, he does 30% consistently. Again, like I said, <laughs> four tilt, back air. Oh, not that back air, four tilt up air. It's even. Oh, nice egg. Egg saving him. Saving him from the four stars. It would have killed him, yeah. Yes. Tried to go probably for a up neutral get up punish, but he rolled behind him. Ah, and then connect. That is. That will not, not kill. A kill. That will kill. Sorry. I'll take it back. Okay, that, that up throw is pretty good. <laughs> okay, that up throw killing you. Than I yeah. Oh, and oh armor that was so nice. I really love his adaptation from last set. Last set he got hit by it, but this time was like, nope, got using it by right there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say nope, uh, using a super armor, but this time he was not able Ruby to oh, evening it Sentai out. Good job at Polymoth. Again, razor leaf distance for, for Sasha. For Sasha. The distance uh, he wants to stay at. This game. Exactly, and yeah, Poyamon's getting in from the air, this air time air. using mostly neutral air to do that. Down air. Down air to cover the rule. This when is a close game. Ooh, jabs on shield. Crazy save move on shield, apparently. Ooh. So scary for Poyamon there. That Poyamon's broke. Yeah. Poimon had to go to the corner to avoid everything and worked out, oh, but he was not able to play around it. Ay, 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 that Becker killing him at 130. That Becker is definitely powerful, I think it was a sweet spot there. And Poimon didn't see it coming, the eye right, left, right to the left. Didn't see it coming at all. Yeah, and when you do not see it coming, your DI eye can make you die considerably earlier than you would expect. Yes. 